New York Reuters, U.S. Stocks ended with small gains on Wednesday after minutes from the Federal Reserve's latest meeting suggested higher inflation may not result in faster interest rate hikes. Most Fed policymakers thought it likely another rate increase would be warranted, soon, if the U.S. Economic outlook remains intact, and many participants saw little evidence of general overheating of the labor market, minutes of the central bank's last policy meeting showed. Stocks turned higher after the news, with rates sensitive S. Financials, SPSY, which benefit from a rising rate environment, ended the day down 0.6%. The market is probably breathing a little bit of a sigh of relief knowing that inflation even a bit above 2% may not necessarily mean a faster rate of increases, said Mike Bell, managing director at U.S. Bank Private Client Wealth Management in Portland, Oregon The central bank has lifted borrowing costs once so far this year, in March, and policymakers are currently about evenly split between those who expect two more rate rises this year and those who anticipate three. Investors overwhelmingly expect a rate rise at the next meeting on June 12 to 13. The Dow Jones Industrial Average DJI rose 52.4 points, or 0.21%, to 24,886.81 BS. Earlier in the day, comments by U.S. President Donald Trump that fueled further skepticism over trade talks between the United States and China weighed on the market. Trump had signaled a new direction for the trade talks, saying the current track appeared too hard to get done, a day after telling reporters that he was not pleased with the recent talks. File photo, traders work at the Citadel Securities Post on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange, NYSE, in New York City, U.S., July 18, 2016. Reuters, Brendan McDermott, file photo retailers were mixed, with Target, TGT, and sinking 5.7% after the retailer's quarterly profit rose less than expected as price cuts, higher wages and investments into its online business dented margins. Tiffany, TIFF, and surged 23.3% after the jeweler's quarterly results blew past estimates and the company raised its full-year profit forecast and announced a $1 billion buyback program. Ralph Lauren, RL, N, also soared, ending up 14.3% after the company's higher margins helped deliver a solid profit that beat analysts' estimates. Also, Lowe's Low, N, gained 10.4% after the home improvement retailer maintained its annual financial targets and billionaire investor Bill Ackman said his hedge fund had taken a roughly $1 billion stake in the company. Advancing issues outnumbered declining ones on the New York Stock Exchange by a 1.07 to 1 ratio, on NASDAQ, a 1.15 to 1 ratio favored advancers. P.S. About 6.4 billion shares changed hands on U.S. exchanges. That compared with the 6.6 .6 billion share daily average for the past 20 trading days, according to Thomson Reuters data. Additional reporting by Chuck Mikolajczak in New York and Meta Singh in Bengaluru, editing by Siraj Kaluvila, Nick Zeminski and Jonathan Otizor Standards. Thomson Reuters Trust Principles